Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see a demo on grid layout in R Shiny. So far, what we have seen is a layout with sidebar and main panel where we had the widgets or plots. Grid layout allows us to put widgets into different rows and columns. We'll be introducing two new functions fluid row function and column function. As we can see here, we have multiple widgets placed in a grid. A grid typically consists of a row and 12 columns. These 12 columns uh, could be used to position our widgets. Let's look at the code. We start off with loading the required packages. We load the Shiny package and ggplot2 package. The reason we are loading ggplot2 is because we are going to use Diamond's dataset for the demo. Next, we have Shiny UI function followed by fluid page then we have the title panel um, um, defining the title as diamond explorer we have got um, certain headings whatever we saw initially in the app and here is the fluid row function so we are starting the coding for grid we are initializing the row we are saying fluid row saying which means create a row and then in that row we are using the column function the column function uh, starts with the number of columns we want to allocate along with the widgets or whatever is going to be there in those four columns so we are saying column four that means allocate four columns for these widgets the first one is the slider input widget. Then I've given the line break and then we have two checkbox input widgets. I'm not going to go into the coding what we have inside the slider input because the main purpose is um, to um, show you how the grid layout works. Um, however, just so let you know, I've used Diamond's data set. So all that you see in the slider input is based on this Diamond's data set. After the first column function, I've got another column function here saying uh, allocate another four columns to three select input. These select input widgets are for X, Y and color. By the end of this column function, we have already consumed eight columns out of the total 12 columns in the grid. And so I've got another column function here where I'm saying column give four columns or allocate four columns to the two select input widgets facet row and facet column. By this I have defined the way I wanted my widgets to be positioned or located um, in these columns. We end the fluid row here and then I've got the plot using the plot output function just underneath the grid and that's how we got the layout which I showed you earlier let me run the app once again so just to recap I had the headings and the title panel uh, title um, here then we had the grid in in the in the middle and then finally the plot